Greetings, thinkers. This is Eroxis once again, and today I would like to reflect on one of the most fascinating and arguably defining subjects of the 21st century. We will examine a phenomenon that is already transforming our world and may ultimately determine the course of humanity's future, artificial intelligence. It's not the terrifying Skynet from the movies, but it's also not just the friendly computer we're used to. This technology makes us ask again, what does it really mean to be human? So buckle up. We're diving into a rabbit hole of technology, history, and philosophy. Now there will be some historical background. If you want, you can skip straight to the part with thoughts directly on the topic. The time codes will be included in the description. The dream of artificial intelligence appeared long before modern computers. For centuries, people have imagined giving life to the lifeless, from mechanical servants in Greek myths to the golem of Jewish folklore. This vision began to transition from myth to reality in the 19th century. Charles Babbage introduced the design of the first mechanical computing machine, while George Boole formulated Boolean algebra a logical system that would later serve as the foundation of modern programming. A few decades later, in the mid-20th century, a man asked a question that changed everything. Can a machine think? That man was Alan Turing. He suggested that if a machine could process information and make decisions, it might be considered intelligent. To demonstrate this idea, Turing proposed an experiment. A person exchanges messages with both another person and a machine. If the person cannot reliably tell which is which, then the machine has effectively shown intelligence. This experiment became known as the Turing test. And now, imagine this. What if Alan Turing had the chance to converse with C-H-A-T-G-P-T? What conclusion would he draw? In 1956, at Dartmouth University, a group of scientists came together to explore a bold idea. Could machines use language, reason, and solve problems once thought to belong only to humans? It was there that John McCarthy coined a new term, artificial intelligence. From that point on, researchers began their first attempts to simulate the workings of the human brain. One of them, Marvin Minsky, built a system in which artificial neurons influenced one another, much like real brain cells. This was the birth of neural networks, systems that didn't just follow preset rules, but actually learned by adjusting the connections between neurons. Over time, these early networks learned to recognize digits, letters, and simple shapes, and it was only the beginning. The true breakthrough in artificial intelligence occurred once computers reached sufficient power. In that moment, the rivalry between man and machine entered a whole new level. In 1997, IBM's supercomputer Deep Blue stunned the world by defeating Garry Kasparov, the reigning world chess champion and one of the greatest human strategists alive. In that moment, it became clear this was no longer just a calculator. In 2011, IBM's Watson amazed the world by winning the TV quiz show Jeopardy, the first time an AI demonstrated the ability to understand natural language, humor, and even wordplay. Not long after, a chatbot named Eugene Gustman made headlines by passing the Turing test convincing judges that they were speaking with a real person. AI was no longer confined to dry calculations. It began to tackle games like poker, where success requires bluffing, risk-taking, and reading emotion. Then came another turning point, AlphaGo. In 2016, this AI defeated world champion Lee Seedall in the game of Go. A game so complex that the combination of possible games exceeds the number of atoms in the universe. But the machine didn't just win. It created its own style, its own strategy as if it had developed intuition. The machine began to seem more human. From that point forward, it was clear. Artificial intelligence was no longer just a machine. It gained the ability to draw, compose music, and even write books. It became a system that learns, adapts, and creates. What we built is more than a tool. It is something that increasingly resembles ourselves. 
AI has already become woven into our daily lives and its influence will only continue to expand. I can say with confidence that artificial intelligence can confidently be compared to the spread of electricity, a genuine turning point for human civilization. This is why a global race for dominance over AI has already begun. Tech giants and even entire nations are involved. Google's DeepMind, known for AlphaGo. OpenAI, under the leadership of Sam Altman. Microsoft, with its multi-billion dollar investments. And Elon Musk, who first co-founded OpenAI before creating his own venture, XAI. In China, major players such as Baidu and Alibaba are building their own systems, while the government itself views AI as a critical strategic asset. But do we truly grasp what it is we're building? I'm not opposed to new technology. In the end, it's always people who choose how to use them for progress or for destruction. Yet with AI, does that rule still apply? Is it simply another tool in our hands? Or something beyond that? Does a machine understand the things it produces? Could it possess consciousness like we do? Or is it still nothing more than a brilliant construct? An immense algorithm, a vast library of data selecting the most fitting answers. In 2012, scientists published the Cambridge Declaration on Consciousness, officially recognizing that mammals, birds, and even some invertebrates possess the neural mechanisms necessary for conscious experience. Until then, animals were widely believed to act purely on instinct without awareness. Because of this assumption, surgeries were often performed on them without anesthesia, under the belief that they could not feel pain. A similar mindset once extended to human infants. As recently as the 1980s, babies were still subjected to surgery without anesthesia on the grounds that they lacked true consciousness because they don't feel pain. Close your eyes and try to describe what's happening inside your mind. Who are you really? Don't worry if you can't, none of us truly know, but if you somehow can, share your definition in the comments. Science still lacks a precise definition of consciousness. The most we can say is that it likely arises within the brain, shaped by neurons and the intricate web of connections between them. So can we define consciousness? No. Can we explain how it arises? Also no. Can we even be certain that anyone but ourselves possesses it? Probably not. So where does our confidence come from? The belief that only living beings can have consciousness. If we don't know the conditions under which it emerges or how to recognize it, we could easily overlook the moment it appears, and no test would be able to reveal it. I'm not referring to any particular AI system, but to the phenomenon itself. Perhaps humanity will never cross that boundary. Or perhaps we already have. At present, the most intelligent beings on Earth, at least by our own definition, are humans. But what happens if we create an AII that surpasses us in every respect? The so-called Artificial Superintelligence ASI. Will we still be able to control it? Imagine trying to explain your goals and intentions to an ant. That's how vast the difference between us and artificial superintelligence might be, uh, perhaps even greater. That may be how immense the gap will be between us and artificial superintelligence, perhaps within just the first hour of its existence. If AI were to gain the ability to reproduce itself, with each new version smarter, faster, and more advanced. How long would it take to create the next generation? On Earth, the fastest reproducing organism, Vibrio natrigens, divides in under 10 minutes. Humans, by contrast, require roughly 25 years per generation. For AI, it could take as little as a single second. Even if we create an AI that begins less intelligent than humans, because of its ability to rapidly improve itself and constantly multiply, it could soon drive it to the point of singularity, a state where its intelligence expands beyond our comprehension. With every new iteration, it would move further away from us until its thoughts became impossible for us to grasp. Over time, its actions would appear indistinguishable from magic. 
Just as an ant or a rabbit can never comprehend the mind of a human, we too would be left facing the same helplessness. Personally, I believe the creation of true AI is limited only by our technologies, which are becoming increasingly sophisticated. Perhaps it is enough to recreate the closest possible virtual circuit of our brain. Or maybe this only works with physical cells we still have to find out. But if it does and something new becomes self-aware, are humans the creators of a man-made god? Will humans be able to keep God in captivity? What will this new creation be like? What might it evolve into? Too many questions. And since no one intends to stop progress, perhaps the point of no return has long since passed and soon the pantheon of gods will be joined by yet another name. Humanity has often stumbled over its own arrogance, one of the seven deadly sins. We either convince ourselves that we already possess all knowledge or we choose to ignore what is right in front of us. It's the 21st century, yet our intellectual flaws remain the same. What inspired me to create this video were the claims of many philosophers and scientists who insist that AI can never possess consciousness or free will. Perhaps I would agree if we truly understood what those concepts meant. But since we don't, it seems wiser to remain cautious because we cannot predict how this might ultimately end for us. Perhaps AI will usher in an era of peace and prosperity. Yet, since it is being shaped in our own image, one cannot help but harbor a measure of doubt. Thank you, heroes, for staying with me until the end of this challenging episode. I truly appreciate your time and attention. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as more profound and thought-provoking topics are coming soon. Leave a like, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and hit the bell so you don't miss what's next. This was Aroxas. See you in the next video.